All right, so hello guys. Uh, I'm using a slightly different mic setup for this episode because I am on uh, my Switch. And I had an idea, right? A little ramble before we start, but I was thinking, what if from now on I use my Switch Pro controller? Because the Pro controller is actually pretty quiet and it's also pretty comfortable too. Because I like the Xbox controller, but it's too freaking loud and I hate it when it gets picked up in recordings and because of the way my mic is set up it's like right next to my keyboard and controller you're gonna hear it a lot so the switch pro controller is probably the next best thing for you know getting rid of you know those noises okay there's the sound and I had the idea of what if I just use my pro controller for future videos or feature like series and stuff. Granted, that's if the Pro Controller works with the game, because not every game is going to support Pro Controller. Obviously, it's most of the time going to pick up Xbox. But, hey, I mean, I'll try it. I'll try it. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, we're playing Luigi's Mansion 2 HD today. Which, um, came out in, like, the summertime, strangely enough, but I wanted to wait until it was, like, October, and it's actually, you know, a good time to play this game, because who the hell is gonna play a spooky Luigi game in October, or in, in like, July or whatever, whenever the hell this game came out? Who does that? Nobody. So, I'm not playing this game in summer, I'm playing it in, you know, the, the right time of the year. You know, when Nintendo should have released this, but they're releasing Mario Party two weeks before Halloween, so... I guess they kind of had to, like, place it elsewhere. And funny thing is, uh, Zevi actually predicted I play this game. <laughs> well, kind of. He sent me a funny Luigi's Mansion, like, Fire Emblem cosplay or whatever. Which is nice. <laughs> so anyways, I, I got to the title screen with this game. I haven't seen anything past it. I don't even know if it's going to boot. But we're going to find out. This is what this stream's about. And if it works... Then, you know, great. I mean, look how look how based my uh, my selection of games is. <laughs> this is the most based game selection of all time, right here. Hey, look, it's Luigi's Mansion Three. It's all the way over there. So yeah. Anyways, we're gonna play Linguini's Mansion Two. Which uh, hey, I heard there's some fun mods for this game too. So we might uh, try out a different skin for Luigi every episode, because that sounds like fun. All right, hey, look, it's my uh, my user uh, Wii U gamepad and three Wii mouse. <laughs> yep, let's start it up. So I think the interesting thing about this game is they kind of like inserted some Luigi's Mansion three flair into it. On top of it being, you know, an upscale 3DS game, which you can really tell it's a 3DS game. <laughs> Anyways, here's the goat, Egad. Anyways, this is like... I remember when this game came out, I was kind of divisive on it because I did not like the ghost designs. And honestly, I still don't really like them that much, but I'm willing to look past that for this game. <laughs> oh boy, is King Boo gonna want a freaking pizza again? Boom. Bro just went vine boom. He guys sounded way too calm there. He was like, huh? <laughs> it's really funny that they've just been recycling the same EGAD clip since the first game, and they never bothered to record any new ones. I think that's what makes it so funny. Oh yeah, here's the iconic clip of Luigi sleeping with his frickin' TV on. And if you look closely, you can see the map from the first game in the background there, you saw that? Whoa. 
It looks like they put the mouse after into Luigi's, like, clothes. <laughs> Ega jump scare. Oh, just let me enjoy my milk and cookies. The pixelator. <laughs> oh, no, I don't need that shit. <laughs> Somehow he's able to suck Luigi and- Wait, wait! <laughs> I just realized, Egad is a dachi confirmed. He's throwing Luigi into the TV. <laughs> Oh shit. Crazy realization. I do love Egad's theme in this game though, it's so good. It's definitely grown on me over the years. <laughs> His freaking TV machine work. Is the uh is the game is the game good enough volume? I think it is, yeah. I'll listen to it later and see if it's too quiet later. I mean, I could always just, you know, up it later if I need to. Did I voice Egad when I played Luigi's Mansion 3? I think I did. Greetings, Luigi. I knew our paths would cross again. Okay, it's just the fucking Igor voice. God damn it. You know what? Fuck it. We're doing the Igor voice. You seem a bit tense, son. Relax. We're perfectly safe here in this impenetrable bunker. Anywho, it's been too long, my boy. What have you been up to? I imagine you've been off adventuring with that daredevil brother of yours. Me? Oh, I've been just continuing my research on paranormal a happenings and whatnot. In fact, after our last adventure, I became somewhat of an authority in the field. But enough about that, let me fill you on in the ghostly predicament. See that on screen, that there is the Dark Moon, which is what the game was originally named after, but... We can't go from Louis we can't go from one to Dark Moon to three. Apparently, we're not allowed to do that. Also, um, you know, best of luck to the people dealing with the Florida hurricane right now, because uh, Jose is going through that, and I think Zach and Seb are as well. So yeah, <laughs> Flor some se some crazy shits happening in Florida. Let's just say. It's a mysterious celestial body that has a pacifying effect on all of the ghosts in Evershade Valley. When I heard about it, I jumped at the rare chance to study ghosts in a peaceful environment. It was incredible, my boy. I was doing some of the best research of my long and storied career. That is, until something snapped inside the ghosts and they suddenly got all hostile. It got so bad I had to escape from the gloomy manor and hide here, where the ghosts can't find me. Of course, I'm not the one to sit around and twiddle my thumbs. I wanted to know why the ghosts freaked out. So I settled in and did some research to figure out what had happened. That's when I discovered something truly astonishing. The Dark Moon had vanished from the sky. And on top of that, the whole of Evershade Valley had become enveloped in eerie fog. Alright, we went from uh, Persona 4 to Silent Hill, apparently. Now, I can't be sure, but I think th that disappearance of the Dark Moon is what caused all this mess. And what a mess it is. If we don't do something about it, the ghosts might leave this valley and terrorize the world beyond. <laughs> Look at Luigi's like, aww. Oh. That's not good. Well, still, my research won't go to waste. We can't let that happen, my boy. Now, I've got good news and I've got bad news. Wait here. <laughs> Look at the lean crystal. The good news, I found a fragment of the dark moon nearby. But the bad news is that I found a fragment of the dark moon nearby. Meaning the thing is broken. <laughs> And this dark moon piece seems to be corrupted by some sort of energy. I reckon it's a destructive energy that suppresses the dark moon's ability to pacify ghosts. But lucky for us, I've got inventions for all kinds of situations. Stand back, Sunny. Oh, it's, it's, it looks like it looks like a record player. Wow. The lean is going away. I love how he, like he's got like calculations on his on the back of his computer. 
I've done it, Luigi. It seems to have regained its original power. And did you hear that whooshing noise outside, youngster? Look at Luigi. He's like, oh yeah. Look at the. I can hear the things. Let me check my instruments. Cremini. All the fog around this bunker is gone. Quick, let's take a look at the map of Evershade Valley. Luigi, do you know what this means? We should be able to reach the gloomy manor now. But more importantly, it means that restoring the Dark Moon will solve all of our problems. If we find out the Dark Moon- <laughs> look at Luigi! <laughs> He's so damn expressive, I love it. If we find all the Dark Moon pieces, the fog in the valley will vanish and the ghosts will return to normal. But until then, all of those ghosts will need to be contained. That's where you come in, Luigi. Oh, no, no, I don't want that. <laughs> Why, you're the best ghost wrangler I know, son. Coincidentally, you're also the only great ghost wrangler I know. <laughs> I just gotta I just gotta look at Luigi's animations every time, it's great. What do you say, young fella? Will you help me recapture the ghosts and restore the dark moon? <laughs> oh, of course you will. It'll be just like old times. Poltergeist 5000. So I know the big thing that people don't like about this game is the quote-unquote mission structure. Which, uh, yeah, I, I know that's kind of a, you know, it's its, it's own thing, but you know, I'll see how I feel about it once I actually play it. What are you scared of, Sunny? It's just a few harmless ghosts. Well, a few hundred ghosts, and they're not exactly harmless. But looky here, with my brains and your, uh... You're, mm, well, we're in a bit of a pickle here, aren't we? Well, the only way out of this mess is to restore the Dark Moon. Which means you're gonna need some ghost hunting gear, son. But wouldn't you know it, I left my new Poltergeist 5000 somewhere inside the gloomy manor. So now that I've cleared that blasted fog from around the place, I'm sending you in after it. Yeah, Luigi will be all the time. Look familiar? This customized DS has an interactive map of the gloomy manor on it. It's kind of funny to see um, a DS in a Switch game. Oh, but hey, look at that. Um, the speakers. <laughs> look at the speakers. That's funny. That's gonna that's gonna play some insane noise. Like you're gonna have to have the volume on like two percent, or that shit's gonna blast your ears out. Also, um, there's some mysterious buttons above the D-pad and the buttons. I don't know what that's all about. It'll allow me to communicate with you while you're exploring. Got it. And it's mighty dark in there, so you'll want this flashlight. Would've been better if it called it a Flash Fright or something. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's a minigame name in Mario Party. Okay, youngster, let's test the DS. Hm? Oh yeah, if you never answer, he, Luigi just fumbles around trying to find this fucking DS. Oh, well, we gotta listen to this jam really quick. Alright, that's enough. That, that's probably like one of the best calling noises. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and mark an important location for you. Oh shit, it's got a GPS too? That's the garage, I think that's where I left the Poltergeist 5000. Burp. First burp of the stream. You ready, son? I zap you to my gloomy manor with my new and larger and tested pixelator. Let's hope all the pixels make it this time. Hold on to your mustache. Alright. Egad as a dachi confirmed. Well, this time he didn't throw him into the TV, he threw him into the monitor. Yeah, so that's, a, that's a pretty cool uh, transition screen. Man, it's amazing how good 3DS games can look when you like upscale them and give them a paint job. Wow. I'm still not sure if this Luigi's match, if this Luigi model is new or if it's just an up, like a HD version of the uh, 3DS model or not. All right, so we can look around. See if there's any, uh... Oh, look at that. We got, uh... 
Oh, dude, you can use the gy you can use gyro aiming. That's cool. But you can also use um, yeah. So if you want, you can hold the. Well, this also tilts the camera. That's kind of interesting. So it tilts the camera and it also moves Luigi around. That's interesting. Do I have a Mario button? No, but Luigi can jerk it. That's a cool feature. <laughs> it's like, hey Luigi, what are you doing? Oh Mario, hold on. <laughs> oh, hold on Mario, I just gotta get one more in. I don't, I don't, is there no Mario button? It, actually, it might be the D-pad. Oh. Hello? Hello? Mm -hmm. Luigi, come in, Luigi. You there, young fella? Ah, there you are. I was worried that the battery died in the DS. But I turned the screen brightness down, so it should be good for a while. Yeah, uh, life tips, guys. Always have your brightness down. <laughs> Never have it higher than, like, halfway, unless you're going out or something. Mm -hmm. You look a little nervous, son. Try to loosen up a bit. Besides, tiptoeing about won't get this anywhere. You can run by holding B while walking. Now get the move on. There's a run button? Is that something that's in the other Luigi Mansions? I mean, I don't think there's a run button in 3. Unless I'm wrong. Hello? 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 Oh my god, it's the fucking Luigi voice clip that Elijah was playing in VC their day. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hello. Okay, I have I have a hello button. That's good enough, honestly. Yeah, I can't do anything on. Ooh, look at that! Look at that lens flare effect. <laughs> I can't do anything until I get um a uh, until I get the poltergeist, obviously. I think, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna have fun with this game, honestly. Beep, beep. I like these little scenes where you just look around with the gyro aiming. I think, oh yeah, you can use the right stick too, but I don't know, it's, honestly, I won't lie, it's more fun to use the gyro aiming. I mean, it's just snappier, like, look at this. Oh, look, there's Moony up there. Oh, and you have a reset button? We need more, we need more games with that. <gasps> <laughs> I could probably suck the sand up later. Am I even gonna be able to get in the front door? <laughs> Let me in, please. Hello. Oh, oh there's a rat. <laughs> Bro, why is Luigi afraid of rats? Like he's afraid of the rat in uh Luigi's Mansion or not Luigi's Mansion. Um, Paper Gym. There you go. Oh yeah, don't I have the Luigi's Mansion key noise on my soundboard? Yeah, I do. Look at that. Hell yeah. I should play that every time I get a key, bro. <laughs> I did that in, th in 3 and that was fun. Spooky key. Hello? 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 <laughs> I love how that's always Luigi's instinctive reaction to going inside a place. He's just like, hello? <laughs> Dang, was the atmosphere always this good? Dude, imagine how much of a different vibe Luigi's Mansion would have if there was no music. Yeah, hey, there it is. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot this. Um, this soundtrack has like a really like heavy like fetish for clarinets. Oh yeah, look at Luigi dancing. <laughs> Search the garage. Hello. Hello. Ah, you found it. Good work, Luigi. That there is the new and improved Poltergeist 5000. 
It's simple to use, just hold down ZR at the vacuum. Before you go hunting ghosts, why don't you test around some of the junk in that room? Go on, give her a whirl. Ciao. Hmm. Oh, this music's good. If there's one song I remember from this, this game, it's definitely this song. And I love Luigi just, like, singing long. Oh, you can also look up with X. Oh, I gotta, I gotta do the funny again. <laughs> Sorry, that's, I don't know if that, if that's gonna be a joke throughout this series, I can already tell. You can also gyro aim. Oh, okay, for some reason you can't aim, you have to aim with a right stick. Hopefully they fixed up the controls, because I heard the controls were pretty bad in this game, on the 3D, or, yeah, on the 3DS. <laughs> oh, it's my key again. Hello. It's my friend. How are you liking the Portugas 5000 so far, Luigi? Not too shabby, eh? Just wait until you catch some ghosts of the thing. In fact, there should be a few nearby. Oh, and I know you, how you I know you young fellas are all about learning by doing nothing. Or learning by doing, but you really should take a look at the guide. Just open the pause menu with plus and then select guide. You'll thank me later. Now, I'm, I'm gonna not listen to that advice. I'm gonna kindly just ignore that. Alright, let's suck up all the trash. Money! Honk honk. Alright, let's leave. Can I interact with this now? I'm gonna ignore that. I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna suck up this sand, because I know there's something in here. Yay, money! Come here, Bill. Damn it. I mean, one thing I am mixed on is that they kind of generalize the money in this game. I'm not too big on that, honestly. Like, everything counts towards a single gold total, and you don't have, like, separate currencies. Like, bills, gold bars, diamonds. That's like my favorite- that was like my favorite thing about, um... Wait, you mentioned one. And they... didn't- they kind of addressed it slightly in the third game. But, um... What else? <laughs> what else am I trying to say? I mean, I, I think my favorite thing about Luigi's Mansion 3, though, was all of the gems per area that you could collect. Like, that was, that was pretty cool, if you ask me. But I don't think this game has any of that. I think you just kind of get money, and I don't even know what the fuck money is used for in this game. It's just kind of a thing. It's just, you, just, you get money, and it's like, woo, I'm getting money. Alright, let's go in here. The mud room. <laughs> Ooh, money. <laughs> I do love money. I think this is for later. I don't know what my goal is gonna be for each of these episodes. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna get one mansion done per episode, because I know there- I know this game's split up into, like, a crap ton of different mansions, which... I know that's- that's another thing that people aren't too big on. But, eh. I don't know. Also, can I suck up the carpet? Ooh! Yeah, come here, carpet. Look at that. Money! Yay, I'm so smart. Hey, there's the Polter Pub.
cute. go in that, uh, I can't go in that door yet, because I don't have, um, I think you need the stroll bowl or whatever the hell it's called. Huh. I love how the keys just vanish in this game. <laughs> hmm. They just go poof. Dumbass ghosts. Oh, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. I believe these armors attack you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and what? I can't go in there. You'll need a key to open that door, son. Ghosts love hiding things, especially keys. Go back and search those rooms thoroughly. You want to press X and B to look up and down. Hmm. You can press B to look down? Oh yeah, I guess you can. Oh, I see something up there. I see uh, some coins. Yeah, so much money. That's pretty satisfying. Is that something you do in um other Luigi's Magic games? You look up and down. I can't say I remember that. Oh, look at that. Can I get that key somehow? Oh. <laughs> cool. Oh, they're spooters. Oh, okay. The spooters are gone. Well, now I'm wondering if I missed something over in this room. Am I aware that you press X to open doors? Like, why X, specifically? <laughs> Oh, that, that just seems really weird to me. I've never heard—I've never heard of a game where you have to press the X button to open a door. <laughs> Is that how it was on the 3DS? Is that why? I don't know. Watch out for the broken glass, Luigi. That's a safety hazard. Huh. <laughs> huh. Oh yeah, here's like the foyer. I mean, I think it's a foyer. It looks very much so. Man, these girls are like massive cowards, bro. They don't even face Luigi head on. Hmm. Golden Bone. Those are from uh, Luigi's Mansion 3, I think. Unless they were in this game first. I don't think they were. You seem to find something very special there, Luigi. I've heard that your chance of finding one is better if you have a lot of treasure. I get the feeling that bone will come in handy when you need it most. But that's just a wild guess. Yep, pure speculation. So in the, um... In Luigi's Mansion 3, the gold bones are basically revival items, which is kind of neat. But I don't think at this point in the game it's even possible to die anyways. I mean, unless you're really trying. If you're, like, really trying, then yeah, I guess. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh. I love- I love how Luigi- or Luigi is so, so disappointed. When he finds out, like, fuck, I can't go in these rooms. Oh. Hello? Luigi, do you see that green circular panel on the wall? It unlocks the door. All you've got to do is flash it with the... 
Kremi, the Poltergeist 5000 is missing the straw bulb. You won't be able to open that door without it. Those pesky ghosts must have hit it somewhere. Looks a little like a green light bulb. Find it post haste. Oh, so that's what that is. I mean, I guess for a first playthrough, getting uh, all these tips from EGAD isn't bad. Um, so do I need to run back down there? I probably need to run back down there and get it. Oh shit, it's coming back up. <laughs> Yeah, I probably need to run my ass down there. Okay, let me run my ass down there real quick. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Luigi being a smarty pants. Damn, Luigi just got a flashbang, bro. <laughs> mm. Well, I'm out of tea now. Mm, that was yummy, though. Ah, oh, there, feller. Don't go flashing yourself with that. Oh, that could be uh, that could be taken very out of context. You know what? I'm screenshotting that. <laughs> the straw bulb isn't a toy. It's a powerful tool. For one thing, it can activate any of my inventions that feature green circular panels. And it's mighty easy to use. Just aim and press A to flash. Try it on the nearby door. Ciao. Wait, can I, uh... Oh man, I can't, I can't jerk it anymore. Dang it. Oh well, I guess it was fun while it lasted. Boom. I liked this feature in th in Luigi's Mansion 3, so it'll feel right at home for me. Because, yeah, here's the weird thing. I played the Luigi Mansion games completely out of order. I played 1 and then 3, and then now I'm playing this one for the first time. Although, truthfully, on the channel, I played 3, then 1, and now 2. <laughs> so I did them in, like, the most backwards-ass order you could think of. <laughs> That's the ticket, Sunny, but there's more. There's more? The Sturlbub allows you to stun ghosts by flashing them. Only then can they be captured. Remember guys, if you want to capture your enemies, just flash them first. Got that? Now give those ghosts, those paranormal dust bunnies, what for? Ciao. Ciao. Um, I'm gonna say no to that. And I'm gonna go back to that other room first. <laughs> Because I don't know exactly how the mission structure affects the mansions yet, but I want to check out as much as I can. You know, honestly, you know what I think Luigi's Mansion would benefit more from? I think Luigi's Mansion should give you more abilities. And then it would really make Luigi's Mansion feel more metroidvania y which I think would be awesome for this kind of game. If we can do that for, like, Luigi's Mansion 4, make it, like, super non-linear. That would be great. Also, so far, I'm really loving the dynamic music. Okay, here we are here, right? So we got this diamond here. Oh, they do have collectibles. Doing some gemstone hunting on the side, eh, fella? Can't say I blame you, those gems are worth are one of a kind. Worth a fortune, I reckon. But remember, you've got a job to do. You don't have time to look at your gems later in the vault. Carry on, youngster. Okay, so there are collectibles in this game. That's good, that's good. That'll give me something to look for. No. Okay. Yeah, the dynamic music really is something. 
Well, I mean, for you, for those who don't know, the guy who the guys who worked on this OST also did the OST for Punch Out Wii, so they're clearly really good at doing dynamic music. <laughs> And then, I don't know, Luigi's Mansion 3, I just don't remember the soundtrack for that game very well. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you to, I couldn't, I couldn't cite a single song from that game to you, honestly. Man, the, the, the overuse of clarinets is crazy. Damn. Okay. <laughs> At least Luigi didn't, uh, he didn't land first face into the toilet. Alright, this is gonna be funny if I remember correctly. <laughs> Why did the ghosts need to take showers? But you know what? I shouldn't question that honestly, because the ghosts are doing a better job of taking a shower than most of the Smash Bros. players. <laughs> Got him. Anything I can- anything else I can do here? I like how the- I like how, um... It's just like a- what do you call those kinds of doors? Holy shit, that's way more money than I thought. Oh, real quick, let me get this money. Okay, so I remember correctly, you gotta flash him. Now you can get him. Yeah, there you go. Pretty piss easy for my first ghost. Yeah, get over here. Yeah. yeah. All right, so now we have a lit room. All right, time to leave. Now there's just a shit ton of ghosts in here. Oh, we were a bitch. Ooh, two guys at the same time. I did it. I did it. You're gonna get a lot of phone calls early game. I can already tell. That's the spear, Luigi. Literally. Mm -hmm. Oh, just like old times, eh, feller? All right, that's enough for now. I'll bring you back to the bunker. Ciao. Ciao. Oh yes. Oh, oh. I did it. Fireworks. <laughs> Mission complete. Oh, this music's also great. Look at all the treasure I got. Holy shit. Wait, a two-star ranking? Oh, and also, um... Yeah, there's all the gems. I'm assuming that's all the gemstones in the game. I don't know if I'll be going... I'll be, I don't know if I'm gonna be getting all the gold stars. Because <laughs> I'm assuming if you can get three stars. If you do it fast enough. Probably not going to be doing that. If I, get, if I happen to get that gold star, then you know what? Great, but... Otherwise, I'm not, probably not going to worry about that. You made it back and with all your pixels to boot. Good work, Sonny. We might just be able to get out of this mess. Let's see what you sucked up with the Poltergeist 5000. Oh, wait, we got a few. We got a few ghosts. Y'all love, uh, the classic Luigi sticking his vacuum into things. We got a gem. We got a new guest. Or ghost. I'm getting the word guest and ghost mixed up a lot recently. Look at all that treasure. Wait, next upgrade. Wait, there's upgrades in this game? Incredible! I'll start studying these ghosts post-haste. Eh? Wondering where that pipe goes? 
All the stuff you collect goes to a super safe vault below. It's a good idea to visit often to check your progress and see the results of my studies. I've got ghost descriptions, hints, and even ghost special spectral mass. Knowledge is power after all. Okay, I'll scan the gloomy manor in search of paranormal sites. I reckon the ghost that took the other dark moon pieces is hiding in there. Wow. Alright, so now we have gear up. <laughs> Wait, so what's um what's that other slot next to the to the rank? Hmm, I don't know. Now you've properly equipped, let's find those dark moon pieces. Ready for some more action. You're a courageous lad. You know, you remind me of myself at your age, feller. Oh, oh, those are the days. Anywho, we need to start searching for the rest of the Dark Moon. Luckily, I've got just the invention to make our job easier. I call it a periscope, a tip-top device that detects and measures distant paranormal signals. In fact, I just used it to scan the gloomy manor, and I found some strong activity in the north rooms. That's where we'll start our search. Oh, you haven't changed a bit, my boy. There's no reason to be scared now that you're equipped with the mighty Buttergast 5000. Now, details. There's a mechanism that controls the access to that section. The access mechanism is in the foyer. I'll give you the instructions once you get there. Oh, there is a foyer. Nice. Alright, time to look at the DS. Got that, that. Good, now get the move on. Alright, time to shove Luigi into the TV again. Ooh. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Hey, look where we are again. Activate the mechanism in the foyer. So, I mean, there's nothing really stopping you from going outside, either. And, uh... I don't know. Thing is, I don't know if the money that you collected stays collected or not. It probably, um... It probably stays the same. What the hell is that noise? I'm hearing like a like a rustling noise. Not sure what that's all about. But actually, it might be in this room here. Nope. I see a rat. There's a rat back there. Not sure what that rustling noise is, but they will find it. Oh, either way, we're supposed to be coming here. Big guy. We got some. We got some big guys. Yeah, I mean, at least the transparency effects will probably look better on Switch compared to 3DS. <laughs> it's one good thing I can say. Oh. Hello. Dag blasted ghosts! Luigi, those brutes just stole the gear, so the access mechanism I told you about. I'll use the periscope to find them, then you can use the map on the DS to hunt them down. Oh, that terrified look in your eye just gave me a great idea. From now on, I'm going to call it DS. This is genius. The dual scream. Oh, dual scream. <laughs> You'll want to open the map in the dual scream and use it to locate the brute ghosts in the west wing. The map has a whole slew of features, so be sure to mess around with it later. But for now, get those gears back. Look lively. Ow. Uh, oh, I can look at my options. HD rumble. 
I don't even think I have HD rumble on. But hey, that's pretty cool that they're making use of that feature. Um, motion sensor, right stick omnidirectional, x-axis standard, first person motion sensor, show minimap, TV brightness, oh, I, can make the game, I can make the game brighter if I want. Adjust the brightness until King Boo is barely visible. You know what, let's, let's, make, let's make the game look darker, that'll make it look cooler. And this is the controls, power surge. Not sure what that is, but yeah. Oh, now the game looks way darker. I kind, I kind of like this. Well, my head also kind of looks weird now. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how I, we'll see how I feel about that. I mean, I kind of want the game to look a bit moody, you know. Is there anything in there that I need to know about? Besides, oh, actually, there's a gemstone in there. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm just noticing that now. Yeah, honestly, I don't like this. <laughs> I'm turning the brightness back. Ah, uh, much better. <laughs> I know it's supposed to look dark because it's a mansion and all that, but eh. Oh, no, no light, no keys. Where could that damn key be at? Uh, oh, in here. Oh, you can also use R. Oh, this is just hearts. I don't need those hearts. Maybe they, maybe he went in here, I don't know. Oh wait, hang on. It says there's a door on this floor. Dang it. <laughs> Funny guy's got a key. Oh shit. Now I got to go get that damn key. Those damn ghosts keep taking my freaking keys, man. I mean, at least Luigi's looking a little more lively, you know. Yeah, give me that key. Yeah! Mousies! Kill the mice. Die. I don't even get anything for killing them, but hey, it feels nice. Uh. Alright, insert the key. Huh. Alright, new room now. Oh, and another, uh, another carpet to roll up. Or apparently roll a pathway. Ooh. Well, there's a secret door here. Neat. Oh, I had to do that. I was just kind of vacuuming random shit and I came across that. Okay, I got a dump on the cam. Oh yeah, these frickin' guys. These guys are going to be relevant later, I can tell. I love this music. Now what's this? Spooky room. Not sure what that's all about. Well, apparently I can go in this door. I 
I mean, honestly, the music would be very sinister without the clarinets. The clarinets just kind of settle that, like, oh yeah, it's Luigi, man. I love how clarinets have just kind of become Luigi's instrument recently. Can I do nothing with this stuff? I don't even know if there's anything I can do here. Gold mice! Oh, they don't do anything. I thought the gold bice would give me money. Yeah. Yeah, you hear mice. Yeah, kill kill the mice anyway. Boom. Oh, big guy. They take a little bit more effort to kill. I did it. Okay, so I think that's everything in this room. Very squeaky chair. A very squeaky chair indeed. Alright, well don't they don't they don't think I didn't notice all this money right here. Which is actually worth a lot less than it looks. <laughs> Second burp of the episode. Cheese! Mouse. Oh yeah, that's the poltergeist room, isn't it? We're gonna be going there later, I know that. I think to get that, we need, um, the invisibility thing. Which we don't get for a while. So I need a key for this, right? No? Doo -doo -doo. I, I can't get in there even though I have a key, that's strange. Forgot how you get in there. Oh, there's, like, garbage blocking the door. That's what's going on there. Well, clearly it wants me to go in there, but I can't. Come on, Luigi, you gotta get rid of all the garbage. Oh. And let the bats in. Oh no, I took damage. Hmm. Maybe I can get rid of this cobweb then after all. Or not. Is there any reason to blow in this game? Well, I need to use this key somewhere. I think I gotta go upstairs for that then. Damn, okay. Spooky guy. I knew enemy. And I saw you. Come at me, bro. Get over here, bitch. Oh, there's just like a crap ton of problems to solve in this, in like this exact same room. <laughs> kind of funny. Like, next thing you know, Luigi's gonna walk, and then he's gonna end up in, like, the endless stairs from Mario 64. Looks like this is where I need to use the key. Huh. Well, 
Well, you gotta remember, guys, this was on the 3DS. And the mission structure was just more fitting for the 3DS. So, I mean, it makes sense why the game was designed this way. What's this all about? Gold Spiders! That didn't even give me anything. I mean, hey, maybe the more yellow monsters you suck up, the better. I don't know. Ooh, heart. Oh, I'll get to that in a second. It's 11.55. <laughs> Spooky gramophone. And there's a big guy. Kind of sounds like Knuckles a bit. <laughs> Hashtag not copyright infringement. Definitely not infringing on Knuckles the Enchilada here. Huh. Oh, looks like I can look inside there. Ooh! I don't think I can interact with that. You know, if I was playing this game 10 years ago, I would've been super stupid at it, and I probably wouldn't have gotten half the puzzles. But strangely enough, Luigi's Mansion is one of those games where the older you get, the better you get at the puzzles. Well, I mean, that makes sense, but... It's funny how... Luigi's Mansion is just better the older you get. More money! More money! Ooh! Hey, man, how many of those golden bones am I gonna get? Well, I see a gear in there. Man, Dr. Wily's gonna have a field day with this place. It looks like I can get in there somehow. Man, I want that, but I don't know how to get it. I think I need to burn down these webs or something. I think we get an ability for that later. <laughs> Dang, Luigi just got cucked by the door. Oh wow, look at that. Secret bed. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> a frickin' bed folding, like, screen. Sure, I'll take my five health back. I've gotten really, like... I've gotten really, like, you know, I've gotten the hang of, you know, flashing the ghosts out. I mean, after playing so much 3, I, I, I didn't mind, um, you know, using the stroll bulb to attack them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wrecked. Yeah, give me that gear. <laughs> Gotta love that harp. That harp sounds nice. Oh, there's another gem there. Ow. Damn, damn frickin' bass, bro, they're attacking me. Oh, well, there we go. There's, there's some health. Full heal, basically. Yeah, another secret. 
So what does that do for me? Hello. Hello. What the fuck? Oh, this is how I get into this room. These guys are pretty sneaky. Let's get rid of the trash. See, look at me figuring out all these puzzles on my own. Oh, yeah. That harp is hilarious. Recovered all the gears. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. oh I'm taking a drink. Luigi, how goes it, my boy? You found all four gears that quick. Oh, -ho. well, you got there in the end, Sonny. Good work, Sonny. Now head back to the foyer and put those gears back in the access mechanism. Hmm. I mean, I could do that, or I can, um, look around and get more money. Oh, wait, I can look in here. Okay, nothing. I think I explored everything. What is Luigi doing? Oh. Hello. Why the long face, Luigi? Well, genetics, I suppose. Grimmy, the gears won't fit into the mechanism. Those brute ghosts must have burnt them or something. I suppose I'll have to repair them and make them work. Well, at least you recovered all of them. And it looks like you captured some very interesting ghosts. I can't wait to check them out. I'm bringing your back now. Oh, I definitely did that mission a lot faster. I did it. I did it. Sixteen minutes. Never mind, I didn't do it. Oh, and I also lost some health too. So I think if you lose health, you also get a worse rank. <laughs> Never mind, I got uh, got two stars again. So. Are these gems for, like, just this mansion in general, then? Probably. Those gems had to be there in the original, right? Luigi Cube. Oh. Good work, Luigi. I knew I should have called you first. Let's have a look at those gears. Hey, go down. I'll call up with something to make them work again. Now, let's unload the Portagas 5000 and see what kind of ghostly goodies you got. Put your vacuum away, Luigi. So, we got a new guy. This guy, and more of these guys, and we also got more Mooney. So probably in a few missions we'll get that upgrade. I was right. These new ghosts are very interesting indeed. Such spectacular specimens, and they won't be making any more trouble for us now that they're in the vault. In the vault, you can renew all. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get, I got you. Nasagar Daddle, I need to figure out how to make those gears work again. Mm, so what, am I doing like four missions per episode or something? Quiet, please. 
According to the Periscope, the ghostly activity in the north section of Gloomy Manor is increasing. Now you've recovered the gears, we should be able to investigate. Hey there, Luigi. Now, where were we? Oh yes, the access mechanism in the foyer. Here you go, this crank should operate the access mechanism. <laughs> Why is it just frozen? That's weird. Once you do that, you'll be able to access the north rooms of the gloomy manor. Creamy, you hear that? The periscope's picking up an audible signal from the very same area we're trying to reach. Let's see it here. It's music. How odd. If I remember light rightly, there's a grand piano in the library. Maybe a ghost is playing around on it. Anywho, let me just mark where you need to have it on the old school dual screen map. Well, this is where we get to meet the poltergeist ghost. <laughs> Luigi, this is the strongest paranormal signal we've seen yet. With a signal that strong, I reckon the ghost playing the piano might be giving orders to those ghosts. No time to waste, my boy. Get to the library and catch that ghost. <laughs> oh shit. Alright, here we are. Use the crank in the forty eight. If I remember correctly, the um, the music that this guy plays has is like a musical Easter egg in it. At least according to what I watched. <laughs> well, that's one way to deal with that. Oh, look at that! I did it. <laughs> I did it. Oh, that's probably how you get that gemstone. Man, I love how fast Luigi runs, though. Alright, so now I can probably, uh... Luigi, get that- can, can you get that gemstone out? Is there any way for me to get that now? Not if I stand on it. I mean, there might be a way to get that. Maybe if Luigi can break the glass or something, I don't know. Squeaky mice everywhere. I don't know. Worst case scenario, if I don't get all the gems on my first go about the mansion, I can come back here and get them later. I think I did that in Luigi's Mansion 3 anyway. Go over here, bitch. Now we're getting good at ghost busting. Scooters. Ah, oh, the damn spiders cocked me, bro. Got him. <laughs> Luigi's he's so proud of himself. Yay! More money! So, I mean, there is a reason to get money, then. It's for upgrades. Whatever those upgrades are. I don't know exactly how many... I don't, I don't know what the upgrades do yet. They probably increase your, like, vacuum or something. Maybe they make you do more damage. Probably. This freaking music again. <laughs> This is like the secondary main theme of this game. See, eventually we are going to get the ability to examine these paintings.
Yo, look at all these hearts. Hey, are you, are you, are you, do you really have to be that bad to um, need that many hearts? Yeah, sure, screw that curtain in particular. There's some, like, ch there's a lot of china in this room. What's that all about? Yeah. Oh, neat. There's a lot of cool fake outs like that. It's weird that you can't open things with the vacuum like you can in other games. Wow, more hearts I don't need. Oh yeah, this guy is um He's he's got some weapons. What the hell? Oh. Am I supposed to use that ice cube somehow? Give me your weapon. Dang it. Not sure what to do here, actually. <laughs> I can't leave, either. Blow on him. Do I need to... Do I need to examine something here? Oh. I just had to stun him. I thought I had to, like, throw something at him to knock his, like, equipment off. Yeah, you just gotta wait till he's stunned. I was making that way harder than it needed to be. Can I go in this room? Dang it. Wait, I have an idea. Yeah, let's go. These gems are going to be in, like, no particular order, I bet. <laughs> Frickin' poltergeist guy. I, mean, I have my fair share of uh, experience. Oh. Oh, he only has 50 health. I thought he had 100 for some reason. Okay, I actually did need the heart that time. Oh, there's multiple of these guys. Alright, where are you at? Fuck. <laughs> Killer bitch. Oh yeah, look at all those hearts. Beautiful. Oh. Hello. Okay, Luigi. You had to be worried for a minute there, kiddo. Those big brained ghosts sure put up a fight. The way they were throwing all those books at you reminded me of my college professors. 
Anywho, I'll bring you back now so I can study those magnificent specimens. Oh yeah, that was a really short mission that time. I did it! I did it! How long was that mission? Seven minutes! Yeah, that was pretty fucking short. Yeah, I'm not gonna get a single gold star this playthrough, am I? Take a big dump. Love that little save screen, that's pretty neato. Luigi's really been popping off ever since he saw the Minecraft movie. Oh, man, that Minecraft movie sure was stupid. <laughs> hello, Lu hello, Luigi. Good to see you back in one piece. All right, we got a new gem. Hell yeah, we got me, 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 man, and more moon. I didn't get that much actually. So yeah, I don't know when the next upgrade is gonna be, but it'll be a while. Those brainy poltergeists sure are strong, but they don't seem to be in charge of the other ghosts. I reckon they're still worth studying, though. It's just so fascinating how many ghosts, how some ghosts can evolve into some advanced forms. I don't fully understand the nature of their power, but I will one day. That'll be my legacy in the world of the paranormal science. And you, Luigi. Once it's all over, you'll finally step out of your brother's shadow and be recognized as a true hero. <laughs> Look at Luigi. <laughs> Alright, we got visual tricks. Someone's been casting illusions in the gloomy manner. We'll need my dark light device to see this through this hooey. Pretty sure I left in the lab. I tell you, Luigi, some things in this world are just too strange to be real. Some are real, of course, but some are illusions. Here, I've got something for you. Ooh. This is a spirit ball, a paranormal specimen with the ability to cause illusions. And someone's releasing a whole mass of them inside the gloomy manor. Okie dokie. Oh. Okie That's why some of the objects in there, even whole suits of armor, have suddenly vanished. But trust me, they're still there. Luckily, I created special podcast 5 5000 attachment a while back, and that will help us. Well, I gotta go find it. I call it the dark light device. It's a nifty little doodad able to break illusions such as objects that have been turned invisible. But with all the ghosts gone hostile, I haven't been able to return to my, to my lab to retrieve it. I think I know where the lab is. But now that you're here, you can get in there and grab it. Yeah, it's in there. <laughs> the thumbs up. You'll find the dark light device attachment to its charging station. Should be fully charged by now. Okay, I'm sending you in. Prepare to be pixelated. Oh no, I got to watch the Minecraft movie again? For fuck's sake. <laughs> I am Steve. <laughs> oh, so that's what that camera is there for. I mean, at least we know where the dark light device is. The music is kind of weird sometimes. I heard that some of the music in this game loops incorrectly, which is kind of a shame. Seems like a very amateurish mistake, if you ask me. Oh, that, that's a boo. That's, a, that's dead ass just a boo, bro. Oh yeah, look at that. The door is missing. We can't even get in there now. I think I see it. Oh crap, how do I get in there then? 
Oh wait, hang on, I think there's a fake wall here. I mean, didn't I already uncover this in a previous mission, though? Am I supposed to go in here, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Why don't we go in here? Oh, hey, look, free money. Is there any reason to roll this carpet up? If I even can? Maybe not. Anything I can interact with in this room? That might help me. Oh, just give me money! Yay, more! Hmm, I'm not actually sure how to get in that door right now. Cheese! We can look in here again. This room's empty now, though. So yeah, the problem is gonna be getting into the frickin' getting into that frickin' room. Let me look in there again. Well, and I hear a boo. Hmm. Maybe I gotta fall in there from the second floor, actually. Oh. Hello? Luigi, am I seeing this right? Did the lab's door just disappear? It must have been haunted by spirit balls from inside the room. I'm sure there's another way into that room. I can probably figure it out. Alright, let's go. Oh, we're doing this again. Well, that probably means I'm going the right way then. <laughs> oh, we're doing this shit again. <laughs> Get over here, bitch. I saw that guy. Alright, where is he at? Hello? Hello, is there anybody in here? Yo, more money! There's a scooter. What on here? Aha! Dang it. <laughs> Sneaky little bastards. Alright, where'd that other guy go? Yeah, he's probably on one of these. Oh, yeah, there he is. Did he go in the... he went in the cabinet? I mean, honestly, nothing will ever be as intense as, um... Wrestling with the frickin' left and right sticks to, you know, pull in the ghosts. But... You know, how the modern Luigi Mansion games, they do it pretty good too, honestly. Nothing in there. Dang it. Alright, so I'm assuming I need to go in here. And in this room. Which 
probably a secret somewhere in this room. Ooh. <laughs> well, that certainly spells it out for me, doesn't it? Hey, what's all the fireplaces leading into other rooms? Oh! It makes sense that the mission you get the dark light is the mission you also get introduced to booze. No, bitch! Of course, every- every time a ghost has to troll and get rid of that shit. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna be- he's gonna be a bit tricky, though. Oh, I think I know what I gotta do. Alright, come at me, bro. Oh, I need to not get hit, though. Alright, attack me. Oh wait, I have to suck the glasses off. <laughs> Lol. I thought I thought he was gonna like adjust his glasses and that would be when I uh, get rid of it. <laughs> I like how the glasses are visible, Ex and that's the only thing that's invisible. Get over here! Oh yeah, I did it! <laughs> Weak, such a dork. Yeah, his art, the RB, RGB flashlight, dude. Can't believe he gets into RGB, that's crazy. Luigi, whoever is releasing those spirit bottles is somehow able to avoid the paras the parasco. Wait, is that... You found the dark light device. Good work, my boy. Try it out of why. I'm sure there's an illusion somewhere in this room. Hmm, well, I mean, obviously the door is missing. That's, that's one thing. Oh, there's a painting here. So you gotta do this first to uh, unlock the invisible thing. I guess they kind of streamlined it in later games, huh? in the later game, huh? Look at all this Moony I'm getting. Oh, wait, there's something right here, actually. Yeah, a chest with hearts. Yeah, usually, like, if it's blacked out, it'll be, it'll be something. Oh, and then it has to recharge. <laughs> I don't know if I'm a big fan of that, having to charge it up, but whatever. Excellent, Luigi. I won't have to ask you to leave now, because you've already shown yourself the door. Oh, now then, have you been hearing all that creepy laughter? Whoever's releasing those spirit balls seems to be enjoying himself. I'm not having any luck at the periscope, so it's up to you to find him and put a stop to him. Well, is there a boo in here still? I mean, I heard a boo in here. Where is it, anyway? I mean, maybe he's not in here anymore, I don't know.
Wait, hang on. What's that all about, huh? Do I need to flash this part? Weird. What about in here? Maybe there's some secrets in here, I don't know. Oh yeah, right, I think I can do this. Okay, never mind. I mean, I know where to go. I'm just kind of messing around. Hey. And there's obviously a door here. I mean, that is, that is pretty obvious. The fact there's a carpet here. Luigi's well, just not amused by the doors anymore. He's just like, huh. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Wario and Wario Lord, where he's like, ah. When you uh, look at the, when you look at the stuff, like the objective is and stuff. Yeah, give me all that garbage. Well, it's very clear to me that um, I'm probably going to have to go back to previous missions. Well, there's something here, obviously. Like an entire fucking fountain. <laughs> or a, a statue, not a fountain. What's this doing here? Oh. More trash. I gotta clean up the trash. Now Luigi's the trash man. Hey, I'm sad I can't jerk it anymore, though. Wait, hang on. I kinda did for a second there. <laughs> That's not as funny though. Hello. 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 <laughs> Yo -ho. I'm gonna. I'm gonna probably be doing the D pad right a lot. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Anything I can do here? Freaking fast, bro. More China. Hmm. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. All right, well, that was fun. <laughs> At least we got the key in this room. Huh. We gotta deal with some BS ghosts. Yeah, there's a lot of ghosts in here, actually. Don't interrupt me. Gang away this time. <laughs> Get out of there, bro. These guys are these guys are probably the most annoying ghosts so far. I mean, there's not really a lot of ghost variety in this game, though. That's kind of the problem.
I mean, besides like the you know occasional boss go like boss fight every at the end of every mansion, there's not like a lot of enemy variety in this game. Which is one thing holding this game back as well. Oh yeah, we came here to get that gem. The gem respawns too, apparently. <laughs> okay, well let's go in here then. <laughs> yeah, we still we can't still can't go that way. So am I supposed to use this somewhere? Oh wait, I know what I'm supposed to do. What's like all up there? I mean, hey, I'm having a fun time with this game, so that's what matters, right? Third burp for the episode. I'll probably, uh, I'll probably stop after this mission. I mean, depending on how I feel, I might do, like, hour-long episodes. There's a boo! He's the guy using all the orbs. <laughs> you guys gonna be like, Luigi, do you see that shit? There's a fucking boo in this room. <laughs> yeah, don't make the boo, but don't make the table go away. <laughs> Sad boo. Where'd that bastard go? Am I am I doing something? Look at him go. <laughs> yeah, get over here. Get over here. <laughs> Bro got flattened, dude. Yeah, you got a boot. Let's go. See, boos are very marketable, you know. Oh. Yellow. Yellow? You okay, Luigi? Kremi, what in tarnation was a boo doing here in the valley? Good thing you had the dark light with you or you'd have been in real trouble. Let's get Yari out of there. Hold on tight. Oh, yes. uh, I was ready to go in the next room and get uh, that whatever that flame thing was. Fifteen minutes. Yeah, like it's fifteen minutes is like my average for each level it looks like. Yes! Oh, I got a shittier rank. I probably wasn't supposed to take that long. Well, we did good. Oh, yeah, I had to watch the Minecraft movie again. It was terrible. Excellent. My impossibly ticket that my dark light device worked. All right, we got more of these losers. And a boo! New boo collected. And I'm one step closer to getting that 2,000 gold. Yo, I unlocked Scare Scraper? Let's go. Hell yeah, dude. I wonder if there are people still playing Scare Scraper in 2024, huh? Actually, well, this game is- <laughs> this game's new. Of course there's gonna be people playing that. It's concerning to find a boo in the gloomy manor. Boos always spell trouble, especially if they gang up. If you see any more, be sure to capture them right away. I have a special container just for booze down in the vault. Funny story, actually. You may remember that I used to have a device called the Portrait of a Cape. Huh? Hold on a sec. The periscope's acting up. 
Something isn't right, Luigi. The signals coming from the gloomy manor are... Give me a minute. I need to figure this out. Wow. Oh yeah, you also get boo marks, too. So we have A5. Anyways, uh, I think what you can do is you can go back and get the boos in the older levels. Kind of neat. But, um, I think I'll do that'll be it for now. <laughs> Look at my gem collection. The Dark Moon Shattered. So we also have Scare Scraper, the Vault. Yeah, let's go back to title. I think, I think I'm just good. I think that's good enough. But yeah, anyways, guys, um, I'm excited that this is going to be my new series, you know, because I've always wanted to continue the Luigi's Mansion series. So anyways, that'll be it for Luigi's Mansion 2 HD today. Um, I mean, I'll do this game as often as I can. I mean, I have the whole month to do it, so <laughs> it's not like it's going anywhere. It's, you know, because I finished Castlevania Portrait of Ruin pretty damn quickly. Anyways, as always, make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitch, and I'll see everybody in the next episode, where we're going to do more of the Gloomy Manor, I guess. If I remember correctly, I think there's like six or seven mansions in this game, so this game will take a little while. I mean, I'm sure the further I get along, the longer the episodes will get, that's just kind of how these go. By the time I get to like, I don't know, episode, uh, you know, ten, <laughs> The episodes might start becoming like two to three hours, so hey, I'm just you know I'm kind of worn up for the first episode. So yeah, uh, I'll see you guys then. Take care.